This video is all about how to upgrade your operating system on an early MacBook. For example, this here is a MacBook Air 13 inch mid 2013 and the latest operating system you can put on here is Mac OS Big Sur, which is 11.7.1. And we need to put a later operating system on here to run some software for an oscilloscope. We need at least version 12. So I can't upgrade this officially. I'm going to try and make my own bootloader and do it unofficially. Before you start this process, you are going to need a 32 gigabyte USB drive. So we've just gone along to WH Smith and bought one for 12 pounds. The first thing we're gonna go do is go to that link there, which is shown on the screen below, and we'll also put that in the description. Now, then you will see a big fat warning here. You must install this update before in upgrading to Mac OS 14.2 on the following machines, Mac, mid 2013 that is us so we're going to scroll down and here you'll see two things the open core patcher gui we're going to download that it may be different on your computer but to access that download we double click on hard drive and then double click on users bring up this window and then you double click on admin and you'll see the download folder then you just double click on download we're going to click on create mac os installer then we're going to go to download Mac OS installer. Now here you can decide what operating system you want to try and download. We might as well try and download the latest one. So we're going to click download. It is a big bit of software. And the first time we tried to download the installers, um, the we had a timeout error. So this is the second time we're doing it. This is where the software got stuck last time. So let's see if it downloads this time. This time around, the download seems to be going better. We've got less than a minute left. Once the download is complete, you'll see this screen here. This just takes a few minutes to go through. Next up, you're gonna be asked to put in your password. This computer doesn't have one. After a few minutes, you'll see this. Would you you like to create yes just before I click install I've plugged in the USB drive here now here goes nothing So this hopefully is creating a bootable installer onto our um, USB drive here. You can see this has now changed the name here from the Hewlett Packard USB drive to OCLP installer. After about 40 minutes, the screen will change to this. Once again, this section takes about five minutes and then we're gonna hit the yes. And then we're going to go install to disk. And this here is the USB flash drive that we want to install it to. And we'll enter our password again. There is no password on here. This hopefully is creating a bootable USB drive. Eventually we'll get to this stage here where it says reboot. Now, before you press that button, you need to hold down the Alt key here or the Option key. So holding down that Alt key, we're gonna press the restart. What should happen is we should get the option of which boot disk do you want to start from? Once you hear the chime, you can take your finger off that. Next, you want to select this, and then you want to select this and hit the install. You need to do that quickly, otherwise it'll automatically boot from the hard drive. 
So now we get to this screen here. Okay, we're gonna hit this button here. We've selected that and we're gonna hit continue. And then we're gonna hit continue. It's gonna agree. And we want to install this on our hard drive. After a while, you'll get to that screen and then the computer will reboot again. Now it's gonna do this several times and you just need to be patient. I think it does it at least four or five times. Okay, we just had a flash and it's rebooting again. And this time you're seeing the about 29 minutes remaining at the bottom. On this MacBook Air, this does take an awful long time, so be patient. So with about 12 minutes showing, we jump straight to another reboot. This reboot is not showing any um, minutes at the bottom here. So we've just gone through a, another reboot here, black screen of death. And this will automatically reboot. It does take quite a long time for the new operating system to be installed. Once again, we've got a black screen and we're expecting another reboot cycle. So I'm not touching anything here. This is automatically just rebooting. On this reboot, we're getting a percentage here, 1% completed. So this bar doesn't move smoothly. We've jumped from 12 to 30 to 98% complete. So we've got the chime here of a reboot. I'm not, once again, I'm not touching any of this here. We've got a little um, code in the bottom right hand corner there that wasn't there before. Okay, so this is a new screen here. I'm just gonna leave that. Well, okay, not now. This looks like the set up or start up cream screen for Sonoma, which is good. Continue. Wow, and that looks like we have Sonoma. Let's just see what it says about this Mac. Look at that, Sonoma 14.3.1 <laughs> running on an old MacBook Air. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the open core patcher. And I'm going to click on that. Available patches, all, about, all available patches are already installed. If you'd like to be normally without USB, you can install OpenCore onto the internal hard drive. Let's do that. Store to disk. This time we're going to install to. Haven't, I'm not pressing the um, option key, so this is just going to boot without you pressing anything. I'm not sure if I had to press the option key here. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so let's see if we can get rid of that. Okay. Imagine this is just help for Sonoma, but we don't need any of this. Let's just see if we can access the internet, shall we? Okay, this is popping up here because I forgot to, to take the um, USB drive out, so I'm gonna click cancel here. 
and I'm just going to remove that. Search for BBC. We've successfully updated this 2013 MacBook Air to the latest operating system. We haven't lost any of our files. Our emails are still working. The only two things I would point out is some applications like this one here won't work with later operating systems. And the other thing is don't ever be tempted to upgrade this operating system via Mac. You'll need to go through that bootloader, which is beyond the scope of this video. But don't automatically update this via Mac because you risk breaking the um, installation